Good morning, my dear beloved student. I am Dr. Imo Ghosh, Assistant Professor Physiology at the Sukhna MS Medical College, Jashun. Uh, today I will discuss about the chemical regulation of respiration. On previous lecture, I have told you about the nervous regulation. I have told that for regulation of respiration that required two, that is nervous regulation and chemical regulation and chemical regulation is done by uh, some chemical factors and some chemoreceptor. For chemical regulation, the chemical mechanism of regulation of respiration is operated through chemoreceptor and the sensory nerve ending which give response to chemical changes in the blood. So, for the chemical regulation that require chemical fact changes in the chemical factor. So, uh, there are three important chemical factor that will uh, stimulate the respiratory centers or chemoreceptor uh, are the three important chemo chemoreceptor are uh, chemical substance for chemoreceptor stimulation of the chemoreceptor are uh, decreased partial pressure of oxygen, increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide and increased hydrogen and concentration or decreased pH. Okay. So, these are the three chemical substance that will stimulate the chemoreceptor and that will ultimately regulate the chemical regulation of respiration. For uh, chemoreceptor, uh, there are two type of uh, chemoreceptor that is central chemoreceptor and peripheral chemoreceptor. Central chemoreceptor usually there are some location and peripheral chemoreceptor is in the periphery. As for a stimulation of this chemoreceptor, there are differ, divided state. The chemical substance will be divided. The increasing in partial pressure of carbon dioxide and hydrogen ion concentration mostly stimulate the central chemoreceptor and decreasing in partial pressure of oxygen mostly stimulate the peripheral chemoreceptor. This has little effect on central chemoreceptor. Okay? So, uh, increased partial pressure of oxygen and increased hydrogen ion is direct effect on central chemoreceptor. Thus, they act on the respiratory center and increase the strength of both inspiratory and expiratory motor signal to the respiratory muscle. Okay? And oxygen in contrast does not have significant direct effect on central chemoreceptor um, uh, in the respiratory center in the brain stem rather than in mo it mostly uh, acts via the peripheral chemoreceptor. So, I have already told you that the peripheral chemoreceptor has less effect on central chemoreceptor but it is potent effect on peripheral chemoreceptor and increased partial pressure of oxygen and hydrogen has direct effect on central chemoreceptor and little effect on the peripheral chemoreceptor. So, now we will discuss about the type of chemoreceptor. I have already told you that uh, type of chemoreceptor are central chemoreceptor and per peripheral chemoreceptor and the peripheral location of the central chemoreceptor is uh, in the brain stem that is bilaterally about 0.2 millimeter beneath the ventral surface of the medulla oblongata. Usually they are located beneath the DRG. DRG means uh, dorsal respiratory group of neuron. Okay, and the AD is very much sensitive to decreasing uh, either uh, partial, uh, blood partial pressure of carbon dioxide or hydrogen and concentration. And ultimately, they will excite this DRG, that is respiratory center. So, where is the location of the central chemoreceptor? It is usually located in the dorsal portion of the medulla oblongata. That is. 0.2 millimeter beneath the ventral surface of the medulla oblongata. Okay, and they are they will be stimulated when uh, there is uh, increasing in partial pressure of oxygen and hydrogen and concentration, and thereby they will stimulate the respiratory center. Hydrogen ion is the most important direct stimulation for the neural uh, neuron, but the hydrogen ion cannot easily cause the blood brain barrier and and or cerebral spinal fluid. For this reason, increasing in hydrogen and concentration has in the blood has less effect. Rather, it is increasing in partial pressure of oxygen, they have more secondarily to the increasing in the changing in the hydrogen and concentration. And carbon dioxide has less effect but most potent indirect effect. So, carbon dioxide play important major role for uh, respiration, not the oxygen. Uh, it will be clear now, I have telling it from the slide that is uh, actually hydrogen ion is the most potent stimulation of the central chemoreceptor, but they cannot 
across the blood vein barrier. So, this has little effect on the uh, stimulation of the respiratory center. But carbon dioxide, partial pressure of carbon dioxide, if increased, they can easily diffuse through the blood vein barrier and thereby they will bind with the water and produce carbonic acid, thereby they will dissociate it into hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ion. And this hydrogen ion indirectly it will stimulate or secondarily will stimulate the respiratory center that is uh, central chemoreceptor and thereby respiratory center. For this reason carbon dioxide is the most potent stimulation for the respiratory center not the hydrogen ion okay or oxygen, carbon dioxide for the central chemoreceptor. Now the peripheral chemoreceptor uh, I have already discussed the central chemoreceptor now we will discuss the peripheral chemoreceptor. Actually peripheral chemoreceptor means it is outside the brain eh? so they are usually located in the heart. Eh? Where is the location? They are specially important for detected in the changes in the oxygen in the blood although they also respond to less extent to the changing in the carbon dioxide or hydrogen ion concentration. Chemoreceptor transmit nerve signal from the respiratory center in the brain and that will help in respiratory activity. So, uh, first of all I have already to, in previously I have told you that, that peripheral chemoreceptor has less effect, uh, uh, less be stimulated by in changes in the hydrogen ion or carbon dioxide. They are mostly activated when there is changes in the partial pressure of oxygen and per, uh, usually decreasing in partial pressure of oxygen or you may tell hypoxia. Okay. So, where is the location of the peripheral chemoreceptor? There are two peripheral chemoreceptors that is aortic body and carotid body. So, mostly carotid body usually located in the bifurcation of the carotid arteries bifurcation of the carotid artery and they when uh, there is changes in and uh, aortic bodies are usually located in the arch of aorta so uh, peripheral chemoreceptor are located in the aortic bodies are located in the arch of aorta and uh, carotid bodies are situated in the uh, bifurcation of the carotid arteries and when they will be activated uh, when there is decreasing in partial pressure of oxygen they will be very much sensitive to this hypoxic condition and because the glomer cells are very much sensitive to uh, hypoxia or decreasing in little amount of oxygen and they will be stimulated and via the afferent nerve the nerve is the herring nerve or glossopharyngeal and by the vagus nerve they will pass a signal to the uh, respiratory center and they will stimulate the respiration in this way the uh, help in regulation of the respiration. This is all about the chemical regulation of respiration via central chemoreceptor and peripheral chemoreceptor. Okay. Today up to this, thank you very much.